Hey guys, I'm Aditya and today I'm going to be making an app in which you can see the coronavirus updates. Yeah, so uh yeah so this you don't need to do and uh, to do anything in the block section for this app so this is basically a app in my app inventor without any blocks code blocks so let's begin so i named my app coronavirus live updates so over here again i have named it coronavirus live updates because without the spaces it doesn't look too good it doesn't look, uh, yeah, the name of the app doesn't look too good. And then uh, it's not possible for you to write the name of the app over here without any spaces. It won't allow you to do that. Then in screen, I have again gone to title. So you might say it's not written screen one like it's always written. Um, it's written worldometer. So that's because... I changed to Worldometer as the as uh, uh, the the site which we'll be using is called Worldometer. Yeah, so let's start. First, you will need to ch go to screen one, change a line horizontal to center, and change a line vertical to center. Now go to user interface. You are in user interface. <coughs> Sorry, and tick web viewer yeah so then you don't have to fill parent or anything because in screen one it's already written center three to two and now let's see we'll just write fill parent just in case it might find an error okay now you need to go to uh you need to put the link of the url in the home URL. That's why you are not doing any block. So you, you will be putting the link of the URL in this uh, box called home URL. So now go over here. So what you have to search for actually is. Okay. Coronavirus dot count. So it's taking a little while. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Now you go to coronavirus live update live. See, and we come to the worldometer site. So we'll just close this tab because we already have it here. Now the link which you get over here. So when you open that uh, this site, you'll get a link over here. You have to copy that. And you have to paste it in the home URL. Yes. And now you click ignore SSL errors. Yeah, now you're basically done with your app. So you will need your mobile, which I'm going to get in a second. To be more precise, you will be needing an Android mobile because you need this app called MIT AI2 Companion. So the MIT AI2 Companion, uh, you can download it on Play Store. So you can you don't get this in App Store. So make sure you have an Android device with you. So you will get MIT AI2 Companion. In the play store yeah now you have to open the MIT AI2 companion and so you can scan the QR code or connect with code whatever I'm going to be connecting with QR code so what you have to do is basically go to build and click on uh, uh, QR code uh, dot APK. 
the basically the first option out of the two options. Yes, now it's hundred percent. It's waiting for the barcode. Okay, now I'm gonna scan the QR code. Okay, you can see over here coronavirus live updates with the perfect space and the capital, the font. Yeah, exact same. So it's not over here, it's basically coming from the screen one part. So now I'm going to open my app. So look here, Worldometer. So this is the exact same site over there. Look here. So this is the exact same app. So you can use this to uh, see the new coronavirus updates. So I use this site because uh, I chose this site because it it's live. So then basically it will be kept on giving you updates. It's not like one one time um, one time uh, information. No. So they always update when new uh, cases come yeah so so guys this is how you make a coronavirus live update app using mit app inventor without any blocks make sure to like share and subscribe my video and see you in the next video guys